So every now and then I wake up with the sudden urge to change my life. And I've decided that it's time. It's time. <laughs> and if you want to do that with me, then stick around because I have some steps that I think will elevate who you are. They will make you better than you were before. They will help you level up. Like what Sierra said, level up. Mm -hmm. Level up. Mm -hmm. Level up. Welcome into my queendom. my queendom. Come one, come all. So I actually do have some tips that I would like to share with you guys that I think are going to help you level up your life. But there's one thing you got to know before we actually start talking about the different tips that I have. You have to understand that if you're still looking for external validation, these tips might be useless to you. You got to stop looking for external validation. External validation is exactly what it sounds like. External validation is validation that you get externally from outwards. So Google says that external validation is the acknowledgement of your strength and emotions from others. We often rely on friends and loved ones for support and encouragement. A part of that includes external validation. Instead, start looking for internal validation. And I know that it's easier said than done, but I think that it's possible. I don't think it's impossible. He says it's impossible. But I know it's possible. I think it's going to be hard. It's going to be a long process, but we can do it. With that being said, let's actually get into the tips that I think will help improve your quality of life on earth. Number one, what? envision who you want to be. Envision that person and become them. I'm going to give you tips and tricks on exactly how to envision the person you want to be and actually become them. So you're going to get yourself a journal gonna get yourself a journal and you will describe this person in detail be very specific when you're describing this person you're gonna describe what they eat what they wear what kind of hair they have what kind of people they surround themselves with how they carry themselves what they look like where they live what they drive how they talk you're gonna describe everything about this person what I recommend you do is you get yourself a journal dedicated to this person or dedicate a couple of pages in the journal that you already have to describe this person that you want to be. With that being said, let's get into tip number two. two. So tip number two to becoming the best version of you is set clear goals. So like I said before, you're going to be describing this person, everything they do, what they wear, and then you're going to set clear goals. These clear goals are going to be how you're going to get to becoming the person you want to be. Once you set these very super clear goals, you're going to start figuring out exactly how you're going to do that. So you're going to set clear goals and write a plan on exactly how you're going to be achieving that goal. In the previous years, whenever I would write goals that I had for myself, I would just write them down in the journal. And then when the end of the year approached, I would be like, I really haven't really hit any of my goals. That's because I didn't set a plan. And you guys know that saying that says to fail to plan is to plan to fail that thing is so true because if you don't plan something how exactly do you think you're gonna achieve it like i would write goals down and i wouldn't write a plan on exactly how i'm going to pursue them and then by the end of the year i would be confused as to how i haven't hit any of my goals but this year we're going to be doing it differently we're going to be setting goals and we're going to be writing plans on exactly how to achieve those goals okay okay step number three three tip number three is practice self-care i want you guys to practice self-care mentally and physically so mentally i suggest that you get yourself a journal write down all your thoughts and process them because the more we process our thoughts the more we understand ourselves we evolve that's why we need to get a journal and process our thoughts if you need to talk to god do that if you need to do what you gotta do just make sure you're processing your thoughts now that we've talked about how to take care of your mental health take care of your physical health as well when i say physical i'm not just talking about hitting the gym and whatnot hitting the gym is good if that's what you want to do taking walks is good if that's what you want to do but what i'm talking about when i say taking care of yourself physically i'm talking about hygiene i'm talking about hair care i'm talking about skin care i'm talking about physical everything physical practice physical self-care practice mental self-care practice self-care that's how we evolve that's how we get better that's how we improve that's how we level up that's how we you know 
you know, you know. Level up, level up, level up, level up. Also eat healthy. Even if we do live with our family, let's eat as healthy as we can. Tip number four. Four. Let go of everything toxic. If it's a toxic friend, let them go. If it's a toxic workplace, if you can't let it go, let it go. Get another job. If it's a toxic environment of any kind, let it go. If you can't let it go, limit it. Limit toxicity in your life and you will have the best life. I'm telling you right now, your life is going to evolve. Your life is going to be beautiful. Your life is going to be what you always wanted it to be. Just a reminder that if you don't feel uncomfortable, then you're not growing. You're not evolving. You're not getting better. You're just stagnant. You're, you're at the same place you've been for a minute. Feeling uncomfortable is a side effect of growth. Tip number five. five. Focus on personal growth or personal development. Try to learn something new every day. Try to learn something you never knew. Whether that's like a new hobby, a positive habit, whether that's educational, literally any way possible. We want to evolve. We want to to level up. We want to get better. We have to focus on self-development. Get yourself out of the box that you put yourself in. Start reading. Read new books that you never read. Get better at something you were not good at. Just try different things. Try things you've never done before. And just level up from that. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Period. And a reminder, as long as you are doing better than you were yesterday, you are getting better. If you have made it to this part of the video, then you have made it to the end of the video. Please comment down below if this video helped you or is helping you in any way, shape, or form. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope this video helped at least one person out there. Do not forget to check the description box down below that has the video on how to stop caring about what people think and it also has the links to my instagram and my tiktok if you want to go follow me on those i would truly appreciate it thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next video